You probably clicked on this video because the title contains the number of likes and views that this video has, or it's at least pretty close. Now the title updates every 10 minutes, so it might not be 100% accurate. If you want to see the title change, make sure you drop a like so that the number of likes in the title changes, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. Now I didn't actually come up with this video idea, I believe it was Tom Scott who first made a video about this a couple months ago. However, he didn't go into too much detail about how he did it. So in this video, I'll be talking about how I made the title contain the number of views and likes that this video has. So the way I did this is I set up a timer on my phone that goes off every 10 minutes. And whenever that timer goes off, I go onto YouTube and I check how many views and likes that this video has, and then I update the title. Okay, time to update the title. Looks like we lost the like. Okay. I'm just kidding, that's obviously way too much work. My timer goes off every 15 minutes and then I update the title. Okay, actually I just wrote some code to do this for me. So to write the code, I followed a tutorial from Web Dev Simplified and I'll link that video down in the description box below if you want to check it out. I won't go into too much detail about how the code itself works, just because the tutorial was very comprehensive, and you can check it out if you want. To put it simply, the code fetches data from the YouTube Data API, and in this case, we're fetching the number of views and likes that this video has. Now, an API is an application programming interface, and it allows two applications to talk to each other. To access the API, I used a library called Google APIs because it reduces the amount of code that I needed to write and it also made my code more robust. By making a request to the API, I can get all sorts of data, but in this case, I just needed the number of views and likes that this video has. After making a request to the API, the API will send me a response and once that response is received, I will update the title of this video with the number of views and likes that it has. And I do this again by using the YouTube Data API. I send a request to the YouTube Data API telling it what to update the title of this video to and the title updates. Great, so now we're able to update the title of this video, but how do we keep it running every 10 minutes? Well, I could have just wrapped the code in a loop that just runs every 10 minutes, but that would mean that I'd have to keep my computer running the whole time. So instead of doing that, I used AWS, which is Amazon Web Services, and I set up an EC2 instance, which is essentially just a virtual server in the cloud. This allows me to use Amazon's computers instead of my own. Now that I've set up a server, I need to connect to the server and I did this via SSH, which is Secure Shell. And Secure Shell allows you to securely connect to a server. Once I was connected to the server, I installed a couple things such as Node and Git. And I pushed the code that I wrote on my computer onto GitHub. And from the server, I cloned the repository with my code. That way I could run it from the server. So now I'm able to run the code on the server, but I still haven't figured out how to get it to run every 10 minutes. This is where cron jobs come in. Cron jobs allow you to execute commands at specified times. So I just set up a cron job to run the code every 10 minutes. And so the title of this video updates every 10 minutes with the number of views and likes that it has. And that's pretty much it. That's how I did it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Thank you.